Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about my top seven, I can't really move my hand because I've broken my wrist, my top seven favorite autumn slash fall fragrances. So these aren't going to be, you know, your most complimented. These aren't going to be, you know, like my suggestions I would get for you. These are just seven in my collection that I really enjoy. And I feel like these are perfectly suited for the autumn and fall period where the weather's starting to get a bit colder. The leaves are turning brown and orange. The seven in this list are kind of, uh, they're not in any particular order apart from I just enjoy them more and more uh, the closer to the number one spot we get. So before we get on with the list, guys, remember, if you are new, please don't forget to drop a like on this video. It really does help out on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe as well, because we're growing a really nice fragrance community and we talk about fragrances way too much and we'd be more than happy to have you in there. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to subscribe as well. OK, so autumn and fall fragrances. Why are they in this list? So like I said, the weather's turning a bit colder and the fragrances that I've included aren't your typical freshies. We're transitioning more from like the aquatic and the fresh fragrances that you get from the spring and summer where the weather's really hot and you want something that's not too overpowering, too sweet and stuff like that. Um, whereas the ones on this list, they are starting to turn a little bit sweet and they have got that kind of like inviting coziness warmth to them. So we're going to kick things off in the number seven spot. I've been really enjoying this one uh, in an office setting and I feel like this is great for the transitional periods of spring and of course autumn and fall as well. And it's probably the freshest one on the list. Maybe, yeah, no, it, it is probably the freshest one on the list, but because of the almost sweetness that this thing has, you can get away with wearing it in the autumn. Uh, mainly for a professional setting, I will be honest, uh, but it is super versatile. The one that we're talking about is this one here. So it's the cheapest on the list, I think. Mont Blanc Individual. So, it's nice. <laughs> this smells like laundry detergent. It smells like raspberry. It smells, um, quite cinnamony and, and just fresh and clean with a nice sweetness in here. And the sweetness that this thing has is the reason why it can fall into uh, the autumn category, let's say. And I've been wearing this to work lately and I don't know, I just really enjoy it. So coming at the number seven spot, you've got Mont Blanc Individual. Okay, coming in at the number six spot, this one you would typically find more towards the winter. But I've got a flanker of this one, which I'm going to be wearing a lot more in the winter because it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit sweeter. Uh, but the one that we are going to be talking about for the autumn time and the color of the juice on this one uh, actually reminds me a little bit of autumn uh, colors. And it's this one here, Lataffa Camera. And like I said, the juice, the, the autumn color in here with the really cool like whiskey tumbler design. This one, like I said, most people associate this with winter time. And that is just because of how sweet this thing is. And oh, man. <laughs> it is good. Uh, it's so sweet. It's like a praline cake sort of smell. Dates, sticky sweetness, uh, but just done in a really nice way. This one is a little bit lighter than uh, the Flanker Kawa, which has a coffee note in it. That one I am going to be wearing for the winter time because that one has got a more kind of uh, warmth to it. Whereas this one, I don't know what it is, but it's just a little tiny bit fresher than the other one. Not to say that this is fresh at all. This is still super sweet, super cloying, but it just smells super nice. And I can just see myself wearing this um, like out in like an autumn night, uh, or maybe like going for like a walk or something, or maybe like when it's super windy, uh, I can see myself wearing this uh, just in the really kind of cold autumn days uh, and nights. Uh, that's when I can see myself wearing this. Number five, this one is uh, a clone, but I really need to buy an actual bottle of this. I think because of the clone, um, I am very, very close to actually picking up a bottle of it. Uh, and for good reason, because the clone and the actual fragrance smell just absolutely amazing. They're perfect all year round, but I really like wearing it. Uh, in the autumn time. And it's this one here, Detour Noir by Al Haramain. And this is a clone of Perfumes de Mali Leighton that I said uh, I might be getting a bottle of soon. Uh, and this, to me, fresh vanilla, almost Vicks Vapor Rub smell to it. It's a very weird smell. It's got vanilla, lavender, apple, uh, and it just 
reminds me of like a freshly baked cake or pie or something like that. Uh, and it's really versatile. Uh, I sprayed this on one of my friends when we went out and all I could smell was him. So the performance on this and Leighton uh, is just incredible. So coming in at the number five spot, you've got Al Haramain Detour Noir. Coming in at the number four spot, you've got Lanwi De Long by YSL. So this one um, is just gonna be a nighttime fragrance for me. Um, if I ever go out to like uh, the city and stuff like that, or like out to like uh, the town, I'm gonna be wearing this because it has got such a perfect DNA for an autumn night, for a going out uh, type of fragrance. It has got a nice classiness to it, but the smell of it is just perfect. It's, oh. if the performance was better on this, it would be higher up on the list, but because it's such a skin scent, um, I wanted to include it a little bit lower down the list. But in terms of smell, I really do enjoy this one. Um, cardamom, spiciness, with a little bit of powderiness in there too. <sighs> Super nice. Coming in at the number four spot, you've got Lanwi the Long. Coming in at the number three spot, this is a slight improvement to Lanwi de Long. Um, you can wear this in the same sort of setting as Lanwi de Long but you can also wear it um, basically anywhere else. Uh, this one, I feel, is a perfect autumn fragrance. And it's this one, Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. And this one, whenever I first ever smelled this, just blew me away. The um, tobacco in here, the ginger, uh, the grapefruit note in here is just mixed perfectly. And it's just a really nice fragrance for autumn. Uh, it's got a nice spiciness to it, it's got like a nice warmth to it, but it does it in a cleanness, which is nice. Performance on this is good. Um, I've kind of let this macerate for a little while, and the grapefruit note in here just really shines uh, when you let it macerate, and it just helps it perform that little bit better. I'm going to be wearing this a lot in the autumn and uh, the colder, colder months, almost winter time. Uh, but I just love the DNA of this thing. It is one of my favourite smells of all time and I'm always going to have a bottle of it. So coming in at the number three spot, you've got Dolce & Gamana, the one Eau de Parfum. Okay, coming in at the number two spot, this one just misses out on the number one spot because it, it's discontinued. It's from my favorite fragrance house, Amouage. I'm just a bit scared to wear it because I don't want to run out of the, uh, of the juice that I've got in here. And it's this one here, Sunshine Man. So Sunshine Man, uh, whenever you first hear the name Sunshine Man, you would think, okay, this is gonna be for the summertime. And whenever I smell this, it has got such, like, like the name suggests, a warmth to it from like the sun. This is just being in like an autumn uh, ray of sun. It's got the note of uh, orange brandy. Uh, it's got the note of immortel, like the yellow flower. It's got the note of lavender in here as well. And it's just super calming. And yeah, like I said, it just reminds me of just being like in a ray of sunshine on a cold day. And it just smells so powerful. This is probably the strongest Amouage, uh, like uh, dense fragrance from Amouage that I know. And I sprayed this on my hand and I was on my computer working and I could still smell this for like the five hours that I was working on my computer. And I could still smell it like whilst it was down here. I could still get the fragrance just kind of traveling its way up. Uh, so this thing, performance-wise, there's no issue with it. Uh, some people, when I spray this, when I do actually decide to, to spray this on skin, this, uh, some people, I get the reaction that this smells like a sweet that they've had before. And I think, and I could be wrong here, but the sweet that I'm thinking that people um, can relate this to is the little, like, hard candy... Uh, like balls that you get, like four in a little pack that you get from like Halloween, uh, which is why I think I like this so much for autumn time, because it just reminds me of the sweets that you get for Halloween. I just wish that Amouage didn't discontinue this. Luckily, I got quite a high partial bottle, um, but I'm just so scared to spray this and run out of it because of how much I enjoy this fragrance. And just quickly before we get on with the number one spot, guys, if you haven't already, please don't forget to drop a like on this video. It really helps out on the channel. And also, if you guys wanted to try any of these fragrances, I have got links to two, five, and 10 mil sample bottles. There will be a link first line in the description. It will take you to my Etsy store. And I've got almost all these fragrances on the list. 
maybe apart from Sunshine Man, um, because it's discontinued, I'm going to be keeping this one uh, for you guys to try for yourself. So if that sounds like something that would be interesting and you don't want to go out and spend the full money on getting a full bottle, I will leave a link in the description. Okay, and coming in at the number one spot, this one, I've said it before in, in videos, this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. I can see this as a perfect autumn fragrance for the day, for the night. And in terms of smell, this is probably my second favorite fragrance smell, maybe apart from Jubilation 25 from Amouage. And it's this one here, Zerjoff Naxos. And I've already got the cap off because I wanted to smell it. <laughs> this has got the note of honey, tobacco, lavender, lemon, cashmere, and it is just a beautifully crafted fragrance. Uh, it's just perfect for, uh, I can see it as like an autumn day, but because of the honey and the sweetness in here, you could get away with wearing this uh, in the nighttime as well. And I've talked about it enough times in videos. Uh, I probably should do a full review uh, of this, a full in-depth review, because I've got three bottles of it. Um, so I've definitely had the chance to wear this. And whenever I think of autumn fragrances, this thing just comes to mind. It's so uh, like warm, inviting, cozy, <laughs> whatever kind of word you want to use for it. It smells almost exactly how it looks, like honey uh, in a bowl. I absolutely love this one. So coming in at the number one spot, guys, you've got Zerjoff Naxos. Such a nice one. Okay, so that is going to do it for this list, guys. Remember, as always, please don't forget to drop a like on this video. It really helps out on the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe as well. If you've made it this far in the video and you are a fan of fragrances, please feel free to subscribe because um, we're growing a great fragrance community and we'd be more than happy to have you in there. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description to try all these fragrances if you did want to buy a few sample bottles. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to grow your fragrance collection to over 50 fragrances in a really short space of time without spending too much money, uh, I have actually created an online course that will teach you absolutely everything there is to know about decanting your fragrances uh, and offsetting the cost in order for you to grow uh, a huge fragrance collection full of designers, full of niche fragrances without spending any of your own money. It will teach you step by step by step everything that you need to know, everything that you need to look out for, uh, if there's any problems, how you can face them, how to actually list them, how to decant them, how to post them, uh, how to deal with complaints and every single thing that you need to know. And I've set it up in a way that it's only £10 for life. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you want to learn to grow your fragrance collection, again, I will have a link down in the description below. So that's enough of the shameless plugs. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your top three autumn fragrances are. Uh, and with that said, I'll see you guys all in the next video.